Welcome back to X and O's and Joe's. I'm Coach Gene Clemens. Thank you for joining us. It is a beautiful day outside if you are in South Georgia, especially if you're in Southeast Georgia. It's a beautiful day outside. Um, one of the things I wanted to talk to you about today is the fact that many people believe that when you see strange formations, that stuff like this is a gimmick. I'm here to tell you it's not. Stay tuned. Now, over here, we have a different formation. Four over here, which we makes them have to push four over. over. This way, we've got one this guy, guy here. That guy well, will be first we'll off. Run it this way, we'll where have we've got this the guy. guy. This just becomes easy. We have an advantage. We can run this guy that way. On a slant on a fade. So we've got every single if he tries time, to play time, off until they adjust to this four times in a row. Before they ever boom, adjust boom, it to boom, what we put a tight end out man, there. Man, oh, we've got three good blockers. We've got our ability and us throw the ball also, over the opportunity to there. run a quick game. Okay, so we're back, and thank you once again for joining us. If you haven't already, make sure you hit that like button. Make sure you subscribe to the channel if you have not subscribed yet. Every time you subscribe, every time you like, it definitely helps us. It makes me feel good. It makes our channel grow. That's what we're here to do. We're trying to um, pass this information on to anybody that might need this information. So without ado, when you look back there and you say, oh, well, those are gimmicks, and I say that they're not gimmicks, who's right? Well, I guess technically both of us could be right. They could be gimmicks if that's how you choose to use them, or they could be weapons. So what makes a two tight end personnel with two fullbacks and a running back not a gimmick. Dedication. Dedication to running that style of offense, to running that formation. That's what makes it not a gimmick. Well, the same thing applies here. If you run these styles of offense, then if you run them as a gimmick, then they'll be a gimmick. But if you ran them with fidelity, if you really put in time to, go, to cultivate what you run out of these, then this just becomes normal football for you. Furthermore, nobody calls eight-man football and six-man and seven-man football gimmick football, right? They just call it football. Well, when you spread a defense out and you essentially make a box similar to this or to this or to this, you've reduced the field to playing six or seven or eight-man football. Obviously, that's going to be an advantage for you if you know what to do and your defense doesn't. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you some things on how to run things out of these types of formations that could be used in your everyday football lexicon where, where you can put this in and run it and run it with fidelity and use it the way it should be used. It's going to be successful for you. And the one thing I'm going to have you remember is that I believe in 11-man football. So if you believe in 11-man football, it's going to work for you. Stay tuned. Now, I told you I believe in 11-man football. You know that I believe in 11-man football. If you've watched any of my offensive um, videos, you know that I think that when you as an offense play 11-man versus their defensive 11-man, you can have a lot of success. So... Looking right here, obviously you can tell having an athletic quarterback is going to be advantageous. So I'm going to go back to something that we do. I think it's a staple. If you don't, it's cool. Whatever you do, you do. But we love zone. So I'm going to look at zone out of these formations. Right now, I look over here and I see us running zone. I look at how we're running it. I look at why we're, why we're running it. And I say to myself, okay, if we line up zone and we ran zone and out of pistol, I like to open him up backside. So he would come here, hit there. We're going to read that guy. So now I've got one, two, three, four, one, two, three. I've got him on the backside. I've got, I've got this guy on the front side. Why doesn't that work? Why can't we run zone out of that? Obviously, we can run zone out of that, correct? 
Now, all, of it all it takes is a different eye discipline for these guys to know, hey, look, if they put too many people out here to try to account for these three out here, these two actual, like, eligible receivers, they put too many people out there, we gut them up the middle. If they bring too many people in, if they don't account three over three, then we throw and we run it outside. It's that simple. Now, over here, we have a different formation. We have essentially five people here like we do over there. We got four over here, which makes them have to put four over. We got one guy here. Well, first off, I'll tell you, yes, we could still run our normal zone stuff, right? We'll run it this way. We'll bring this guy. That guy will be, we'll run it this way. We'll have this guy be the re guy. We could easily run zone this way, right? We could also run it where we block this guy and it just becomes QB zone that way. So we've got a split zone. We fake that, run through there. Now we're making this guy have eye discipline. We've also set up a one-on-one -on -one matchup over here. If we think we have an advantage, we could run this guy on a slam, on a fade. If he tries to play off, you can have him hitch and take the easy money over here every time. We can take our chances four on four. Have these guys blocking, catch the ball, and throw the ball out to this dude every single time until they adjust. I remember running this play four times or a similar play to this four times in a row before they ever adjusted to what we were doing out there. Once they did, we started running it up underneath. So you can run your zone in here. You can throw with your quick screen game out here. These are two offensive linemen. Here's a wide receiver, boom, boom, boom. You can put a tight end out there. You've got three good blockers and a skilled guy behind them to be able to take advantage with. Over here, we bring one of the linemen back in, so now we have four linemen in a, in a kind of a far pistol look. We still have three guys over, so now we can still run our normal zone stuff. Backside split screen. He's running here. That guy can read here. If that guy tries to spill inside, he's taking it. We've got man to man over here. We've got our ability to throw the ball over there two on two. So again, the opportunity to run your zone game, but also the opportunity to run the quick game just like you can run the quick game over here and over there. So ways that you can run your basic zone package that you've been running forever, but you can also take advantage of how they line up if you wanted to run some quick game as well. Well, that's all the time I have for today. But that's not all that you can do out of something like this. You can turn these things into Whatever you want to, just remember, it's about 11-on-11 11 11 football, it's about dedication to it, and it's about practicing with fidelity. If you do this enough, if you practice it enough, if it becomes second nature to you, then there's nothing gimmick about it. Plan to see a few more of these videos here in the near future, because I think it's very interesting to look at how um, six and eight-man and seven-man football are able to put these plays together and how we can incorporate them into our 11 on 11 type of plays to kind of change the math for the defense a little bit. But until next time, I'm Coach Gene Clemens. Y'all have a good one. Now, over here, we have a different formation. Four over here, which we makes them have to put four over. This way, we've got one guy, guy here. That guy well, will be first we'll off, run it this way. We'll have this guy, be this guy, and this just becomes easy. If we easy have zone. an advantage, we can run this that guy way. on a slant, on a fade. So we've got every single time, until they adjust to this four times in a row, 
before they ever adjusted to what we put a tight end out there. Man, man over here. three good blockers. You got our ability to throw the ball over the opportunity to run a quick game. 